In this episode of my Gato FPS tutorial series, we're creating fully automated doors with our door component system. These tutorials are part of a long series of FPS tutorials for the Gato engine. The link to the door component episode is in the description. And as always, you can grab the source files for this and all of my Gato engine tutorials on my Patreon. To create automatic doors, we need to create an area that will act as a trigger for when our player enters and exits. I decided to convert my door component script and node from a base node to an area 3D node. This will give us the functionality we need and keep everything under one component. To do that, change the node that our script extends from node to area 3D. To have this update, you may need to restart Gato, so keep that in mind. This will also throw an error for our rotation variable name because area 3D nodes already have a rotation reference. So first change that variable and it's one occurrence in the open door function to rotation axis. Then add a new enumeration door operation that will contain three different types, manual, close automatically, and open and close automatically. These options will make it easy for us to switch between our manual and automatic door options. Add an export variable door operation to hold our new enumeration. In our connect parent function, we only want to interact with the door when we are in manual mode. So we add an if statement to check if we are in manual. If true, we connect our interaction signal to our check door. If we want to close the door automatically but manually open it, we adjust our open door function so that instead of our close automatically boolean variable, we check for our close automatically door operation. We can also deprecate or delete our close automatically boolean. Finally, we create a collision shape 3D node within our door component as a child, which is now an area 3D node. This collision shape will act as our trigger area for the player. I'm using a sphere collision shape and you can adjust the size according to how far you want the door to trigger. We can use the built-in signals body entered and body exited, which I've renamed to on trigger and off trigger respectively, connect those triggers to our script and run a door operation check for our open and close automatically type. If true, we run our check door function. You should now have a fully automatic door and the ability to switch back to manual or close automatically if you want. As always, you can get these source files for everything that you saw in this video on my Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep creating.